Well, hey guys, and welcome to Solar Cabin Channel. Uh, you know, over the last couple of years, I have been reviewing a lot of power stations, sometimes called solar generators. The ones that I've mostly been reviewing have been very large units uh, that we use for off-grid living full-time or for RVing full-time, that sort of thing. And they are big units with big batteries and very heavy. Uh, and so today, I get to do something kind of special. I get to to re review this little cute little unit here. Now this is made by Blue Eddy. This is the EB55. Now this unit has a lot of features and I've been testing it over the last three or four days uh, with running it with different appliances that I use all the time here at my off-grid cabin and also that would be appliances that would be used for an emergency backup power system or for RVing or camping like that. Now right now I've got this plugged in. I'll turn it on so you can see the screen. It'll shut off by itself here in a minute. But I've got the uh, EB55 plugged into my laptop uh, because I want to make sure that I get the specs right on this. Now this is the Blue Eddy EB55. This has 537 watt hours of battery capacity, 22.4 uh, volt. That equals to 24 amp hours at 22 volts. So it has a LIFEPO4 battery. Now I want to really emphasize that because I have reviewed some smaller units, less expensive units. They are generally using the lithium ion batteries. I am not real fond of the lithium ion battery units because they don't have as many cycles. They don't last as long. There are also some issues with them overheating and some safety issues. I prefer a LIFEPO4 battery. That is what is in all my other units and also used for my solar power system. This small unit has a life pole 4 battery in it. That makes it different than a lot of the other units that are out there. This unit is also very small. I want you to see this thing. It's about the size of a lunchbox, and you can pick it up with one hand very easily. Now, I'll tell you what the weight in that is on it, but here, we'll go ahead through this. This, ha this life pole 4 battery has 2,500 plus cycles to 80%. Now that's why you want to use a LIFEPO4 battery in one of these units, uh, because the life cycles, which is how many times you can draw it completely down and fill it completely back up, uh, is will determine how long this, this unit will last. And with 2,500 cycles, unless you're using this every single day and draining it all the way down and all the way up, you should get anywhere from 8 to 12 years out of this unit easily. Most of the time, people are only going to drain this down part of the way and then fill it back up. You're probably not even doing that every day. This size unit is usually is used a lot by campers, off-gridders, uh, people that are uh, recreation uh, people, or for an emergency backup. So it's probably not going to be used every day. So those 2,500 cycles are going to last you a really long time, okay? So that's really important feature of this uh, Blue Eddy EB55. Now, it also has a uh, MPPT charge controller that is for solar so it has a, a top of the line MPPT controller so if you're charging this you're going to get the maximum amount of watts out of your solar panel now this can be charged from solar it can be charged from AC it can be charged from the car plug-ins and you could even charge it up from a gas generator if you wanted to so we'll talk a little bit more about charging in a minute now this has a pure sine wave inverter. That's really important uh, because some appliances like refrigerators, microwaves, some high-tech equipment, they require a pure sine wave inverter, otherwise it can mess them up, even burn them out. This unit has a 700 watt pure sine wave inverter. Now that's 700 watts. Some of the smaller units that I've reviewed have only had maybe a 500 watt inverter in them. This has a 700 watt inverter, which I think is a really good size because a lot of smaller kitchen appliances will run around that 700 watts, 600 to 700 watts that can be run off of this. So that's important that you have an inverter and a pure sine wave inverter so that you can run a lot of small appliances and things, tools and things like that you may need to run off of this unit. Now this also has a surge power of 1400 watts. So it has, it has four outlets down here, and I've got my uh, laptop plugged into one of them. It has four outlets. It has 700 watts that is divided between those four outlets. So you need to know that if you plug in a bunch of stuff, they all have to be under 700 watts. But this unit has a 1400 watt, what we call surge or ramp up power. So if you plug in something into this, uh, like a refrigerator or a motor or something like that, that has a ramp up power above 700 watts, 
and then drops down to below 700 watts, this unit will still run it. It gives you that ramp up power just to take care of any appliance or anything that might have a motor in it. That's basically what it's for. And uh, this can be charged from charged from either solar up to 200 watts of solar panels. I have one of the 120 watt Blue Eddy solar panels, which I will show you. And it can be charged from AC up to 200 watts. This is the uh, and this is the AC charger right here. I just want to. This is kind of funny to me because the AC charger is really big uh, compared to the Blue Eddy unit. That it's it's a big charger. That's a 200 watt charger, so it charges this up in about three hours, charging it from AC power. If you charge it from solar from a 200 watt power, it will still take about three hours. But this unit can also be charged from AC and solar at the same time. Some of these units won't allow you to do that. This Blue Eddy will let you charge it from AC and solar at the same time, so you can get as much as 400 watts of charging, and you could charge this in a little bit over two hours if you're doing it that way. So that's really good. Blue Eddy also includes, includes, includes the AC cable for charging, but they also include the DC plug. That's another thing that I really appreciate because a lot of these units that I've got, they don't include the DC plug. You have to buy it separately. Uh, Blue Eddy includes the DC plug with the XT60, and that just plugs into the out, the inputs up here. So you can charge this from a car, and they include the solar cables. That's what this is. This, I will show you here in a minute. This has the MC4 connectors to connect to any solar panel. If you don't have a Blue Eddy solar panel, which are really nice solar panels, but if you're using your own solar panels, they send you the cable so that you can connect it to any MC4 connector on any solar panel. That's what they're going to come with. And it has the XT60 with probably about four feet of wire. And that makes it really convenient because this small unit like this charges up fast enough off of solar power to really make it a beneficial unit. Now, I'll talk about some of the other features on here. Turn this on just to show you. This has the four 110 volt outlets, which is really good. It has a DC dedicated cigarette plug style. And this is something that I always look for in these units because I have lots of appliances and tools and things that run off DC with that type of plug. So it has one of those, so you can run anything that would run off a cigarette lighter in your car. It has the two 10 amp, uh, 12 volt dedicated plugs right here. Okay, right here it has four of the USB 5 volt 3 amp ports. A lot of these usually only include two. They give you four of the 5 volt 3 amp ports uh, for charging things that will run off a 3 amp USB. Uh, phones will, will can charge off of that, but that's not fast charging. And then you also have a USB-C port up here, which is 100 watts. That's your faster charging for things, for uh, phones and that can be charged faster, or phones, laptops, and other appliances can be charged faster. But this also has one more special thing. It actually has a phone charger right on top here, which I, which I can't exactly show you here, but on top, if you have one of the phones, and I don't happen to have one, but if you have one of the phones that can be charged uh, without being plugged in, that you can just set on top of this, this will charge your phone just by setting it on top of this unit. Pretty cool features, all right? Now, on the front of this, on the display, it shows you if the battery's full. You can change the settings on here. It shows you what your input watts are and what your output watts are. Your input watts are is what you're charging at. Again, it's 200 watts if you're charging from AC. It's, a, it's 200 watts if you're charging from a 200 watt solar panel. And if you combine the two, you're going to get somewhere between three and 400 watts generally if you're charging from solar and AC at the same time. It tells you what the input watts are, so you can keep track of that. And then below that is your output watts. And the output watts is whatever you're running out of the system uh, to the appliances. Now that's good too because if you see that you've got something plugged in and it's using maybe uh, 500 watts or 300 watts, then you know that you've got up to 700 watts that you can plug in additional stuff. So that way you're not over plugging in, in and uh, trying to run too many things. But this will run up to 700 watts, which I'll show you here. Now, I put this through some testing. I tested this with my 12 110 volt refrigerator, and it ran that refrigerator for 20 hours. And it still had some power left in. I didn't run it completely drained. Uh, it, it, but it ran it for 20 hours, which I'm very impressed with uh, for a 537 uh, watt hour battery. Uh, that really would be great for keeping your foods fresh and your medicines cold in one of those 12 110 volt refrigerators for either an emergency system or if you're camping or off grid like I am. I, I am. Now, this does charge some solar and I just wanted to show you because I'll also take you out and show you how I charge this up. 
uh, in the next part of this video. But this is the uh, Blue Eddy solar panels. As you can see, it's very lightweight. You can hold this with one hand. This is a 120 watt solar panel. And it folds out, and the, the panels are inside here. They're a monocrystalline panel, very well-made panel. But what I wanted to show you, uh, which I think Blue Eddy should really be complimented for, is they included a long cable. And this comes with the unit. This is about a 10-foot cable. A lot of these uh, solar panels I've looked at before, they just give you a little short panel. And so you have to set this outside in the sun while you're trying to charge it up. This gives you a 10-foot long cable. Uh, cable here, and then you've got the four foot cable uh, that runs to it. So you've got about 14 feet of cable. So you could set this outside your RV or your cabin or your house, put it out through a window if you need to, run the solar panel, put the solar panel outside, and then charge this unit up from solar. And so, and so that would be really neat because you can keep this charged up, charged up using solar, not using any AC power. And that way, if you have a blackout at your house or a power emergency, you can still keep this thing charged up as long as you've got good sunshine outside. Okay, in the next part of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you some of the testing that I have run with it and how it charges from AC and solar power. So stick around. Okay, so one of the important tests around my place is will a power station run my uh, air fryer? And I use this air fryer all the time. This is made by Elite Gourmet and it runs a little bit over 700 watts. This is a 700 watt power station with 1400 watt amps. If it is a good inverter, it should be able to handle a little bit more than 700 watts. And that's what we're going to test here to see how much power this pulls uh, and if it can handle it with this 700 watt inverter. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. And it's ramping up power. And it shows that it is pulling 710 watts. Now it's dropping back down, but it was pulling 710 watts when this first kicked on. So this will handle an appliance that has slightly more than 700 watts. I want to point that out. Now that's good because a lot of small appliances that you're going to use uh, in your kitchen or for camping or in an emergency power outage, a lot of them will run around right around that 700 watts. Should be able to run just fine off this. Now while it's running, it's only running at 690 watts. That's what we talk about that ramp up power. Uh, it can handle up to 1400 watts. It will, it will go back down to 700 watts and run anything that's up to 700 watts. Watts, and you can run one of these appliances or you can run several appliances as long as they only add up to about 700 watts. Now in my uh, air fryer, just so you can see, I've got me some chicken nuggets and some uh, french fried potatoes that I'm going to be cooking up for lunch here. So that's a real good test because I use this thing all the time here uh, and it, it would be an appliance that a lot of people have uh, that could be used in an emergency power outlet. You can still cook your family a, a meal. Uh, you may also use induction cooktops as long as they can be set to under 700 watts. Any appliance under 700 watts should run just fine off of this Blue Eddy EB55. Okay, so my lunch is done. That took about 10 minutes running at 700 watts and it says that it used 20% uh, I believe. Yeah, it used about 20% uh, of the battery in this EB55. So that tells you that you could run a unit like this for about 10 minutes. You can run most, most of your small appliances uh, up to 700 watts and you only use about 20% of the battery capacity which is really good. Now my overall impression of this unit, uh, I'm very pleased with it. All right, It is small, it is lightweight, it is compact, it is a great size for people that do camping or a lot of outdoor recreation. This is the size of unit that you could take along with you real easy, use it in a camper, an RV or something like that. Also good for a, a remote workstation. If you need to take this outside to run tools, you can pick it up and just take it with you instead of taking a gas generator. Also good for a short term uh, emergency power outage. This will run uh, my 12 volt fridge. It will keep my cooking appliances all running. If you have a solar panel, that is what I would recommend so you can charge it up even if the power goes out. And it will take care of you for a short term, I would say at least a day, of a blackout power out, even longer if you have the solar panel. Again, that is the Blue Eddy EB55, and I give it the solar cabin seal of approval.